So celebrities in Volkswagens. Yes, boys and girls, the humble Volkswagen Beetle has been owned by many celebrities around the world. No matter how popular you are, no matter how famous you are, how powerful, global name, they have owned Volkswagen Beetles. So I'm gonna give you my top seven list of celebrities that have owned Volkswagens. Yeah, you could do a Google search on this. I'd love to hear what your list is. If I leave any names out, please leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, why don't we get right to it? But before we do, if you do get value out of this video, please leave a like. That tickles the algorithm for me and keeps that cranking, keeps that beast, you know, suggesting my videos and keeps me coming back here every week to present to you guys. All right, man. So let's get to it. Let's start off with the top. Number one, of course, Jerry Seinfeld. Why do I pick Jerry Seinfeld? Well, he's a comedian. He's a car aficionado. He loves the Porsche 356, so he naturally goes towards the air-cooled Volkswagen Beetle or the microbus or the Carmen Ghia. If you ever watch his comedians in cars getting coffee, he has Volkswagens throughout that series. I worked on a 56 for him and a 77. I know he's owned a 60 and he might even own a 68 or something. I think that's unrestored right now. Last time I did chat with him through email, so very, very cool. He probably has way more. He's got a huge car collection in general. So number one, Jerry Seinfeld. Number two, of course, the other Jay, Jay Leno. Jay Leno, of course, if you ever watched Jay Leno's garage, his beautiful garage, he has featured Volkswagens and he does own one himself. It is not stock. I think it is definitely souped up. It's got some power. That's Jay for you. So if you go to Jay Leno's garage, you will see uh, he owns a Volkswagen and he's also showcased other Volkswagens on his show, uh, that people do own. So uh, very, very cool, uh, Jay Leno's Garage. Number three on my list, I would say, which is very, very cool, and I, I love this guy as an actor, and that's Ewan McGregor. He owns a 54 oval window, Strato Silver. People have seen him on the road driving the car. He once broke down, and there were photographers out, <laughs> and they was uh, picturing him while he was pushing the car. Uh, to get to safety off the road, which is pretty funny. And I think he actually recently converted that 54 oval to uh, electric. And I think he used these electric guys out in California, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, Ewan McGregor with a 54 oval strato silver. Number four on the list, love this guy, Chris Pratt. He is a joy to watch on screen. And it was very cool to hear that he was restoring a Volkswagen Beetle on his own. And uh, I did like that he mentioned that he, he went to YouTube to learn and to restore and to fix the car, which I thought was very cool. I hope you watched one of my videos, that would've been awesome. But uh, yeah, Chris Pratt, awesome guy. He seems like a very down to earth kind of guy. I've never met him personally, but he seems pretty cool to me. And the fact that he owns a Beetle, hell yeah, he's cool. Number five, of course, Andy Warhol. Yeah, Andy Warhol had a Volkswagen Beetle. Now, it's only natural to me, I went to school for art and cartooning, Andy Warhol was a famous artist. It's only natural, I think, for artists to own a Beetle. <laughs> Especially someone like me, I grew up in the Looney Tunes cartoons and Disney cartoons, Walt Disney, all that stuff. When that stuff was around, when you used to watch it on TV and flick around the channels Saturday mornings or in the evenings or something, you would watch cartoons. I just felt like as an artist, I needed to own a bug. So I went to school for cartooning and filmmaking and I wanted to have my gear in the car. So when I went to film shoots or I went to my, my classes, I'd take my gear out of my Beetle. I thought it was the only a way to do it. Andy Warhol, yeah, owned a Beetle. Number six, Gabriel Iglesias. Iglesias? Iglesias. Not Inglesias. Not Julio Iglesias. Ingl Iglesias. I hope I said that right. <laughs> He's got a slew of microbuses, a beautiful garage, and there's a video with him online about it, and he actually does own a 50 Beetle split. Uh, which I thought was very, very cool. So he's got a ton of Volkswagens in his collection, and I thought it was really awesome when he said, uh, and what, if he does, when he does pass on, uh, he's gonna make that a museum. So I think that's just so super cool. And uh, yeah, uh, Gabriel, you the man. And number seven, how can we not forget Sly Stallone? Yes, Rambo, Rocky, used to own a Beetle. Go figure. Uh, I heard when he was in his early days of acting, most likely when he was on the balls of his ass and he had no money, a lot of starving artists out there. Uh, I know what that's like. And yeah, he owned a Volkswagen Beetle. How freaking cool is that? One of the toughest guys on the planet, it seems like, you know, <laughs> and he's, he owns Volkswagen Beetle, but can't beat that. And I have three bonus for you. These are three names that of course, only kind of makes sense that these people have a Volkswagen. Well, maybe not, I don't know. Two of them out of the three, I would think, yeah, definitely would have a Volkswagen, but one of them, 
another, again, tough guy kind of a character. And number one, that would be Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, badass. That guy used to own a Volkswagen, most likely, again, in his early acting career. When he was younger, he owned a Volkswagen. But now I hear he actually owns a microbus, and there's been pictures of him getting in and out of a microbus. So maybe he's still got it. I hope he does. Phew, drop me a line if, uh, if you still got a Volkswagen. That'd be very cool. Uh, the other name on the list, of course, Woody Allen. Back in the 60s, Woody Allen was known to be driving a Volkswagen Beetle. So uh, I could see that uh, little guy, artist, filmmaker, uh, owning a Volkswagen Beetle. What is it? It's a 200-year-old Volkswagen. <laughs> wow, they really built these things, didn't they? And of course, last bonus, can't mistake it, Paul Newman, race car guy, of course a great actor, uh, but he was known to be a car guy for sure, and I heard his Volkswagen Beetle was pretty souped up. So uh, very, very cool. Guys, that's my list. I hope you enjoyed that. If I, again, if I missed anything, I missed a name, put it in the comment section below. If there's an error that I, I said in this list, maybe it's uh, something historically, historically inaccurate. If you wanna be a fact checker, go right ahead. Uh, let's be civil here and be humble and funny and have a good time. <laughs> and that's it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you next week. Thank you.